have a problem. We got this new land, right? And it's awesome. But it sucks because there's a lot of mosquitoes. We had record rainfall and I'm going to battle with them. And I want you guys to know how awesome this stuff works. My guess is it's probably not gonna work as good as I need it to. But I want you to know that we're trying it, okay? So here's my plan. We're gonna do a quick unboxing. Yeah, it's already open, so. This is the stuff we got. It's supposed to treat per quart uh, 5,000 square feet, is that what it's No, like? half an acre half an per acre. quart. So. <laughs> we need like gallons. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, <laughs> what we're gonna do is this. The perimeter of our property is tree-lined with a stream in it, which is kind of like Niagara Falls right now because of the 10 inches of rain we got in three hours. And it also caused some major erosion, which is in the last video on the day six, what's day six? Mm -hmm. Day six video of the Deadfall Bridge. And I don't know why mosquitoes would love that. <laughs> so propane, this thing, you can get these to plug into the wall too, which would be kind of awkward dragging around a board. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's so awesome because you have to have a separate ignition source. Like, really? You kind of stuck that in there? So we got one of those, and then we're just going with the old trusty 40% deed. You can get 100% deed. It's a lot cheaper, but then I'm just afraid that we're going to be growing like fourth arms and fifth arms and things like this. And anyway, so we're going we're gonna to happy medium live <laughs> without mosquitoes. So when we do the unboxing today, we'll show you what it looks like, um, how, how it works. Um, it's not dead calm right now. We'll probably end up capturing the video a little bit later tonight. But let's just get on with the unboxing. And when I say unboxing, I mean this should be pretty easy. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of warnings on this. I don't know what they. I don't know what they say. Well, but I'm not gonna. Well, I mean half of them are in Spanish, so okay. there's only a few warnings. There's a few warnings. So um, there's also some warnings on this because it's like flammable gas. Um, maybe not the best place to do this in your kitchen. <laughs> don't tell your wife. Has a book. We'll put that out of the way for now. Um, this is just so you know. This is like way. This is gonna get hot. This is way small for our land, but I, I gotta start somewhere. I don't want to start with a eight hundred dollar kit with a backpack. Okay, so you got your take up here. See how this works, guys. Pretty simple. When you pull the trigger. It operates the valve. Okay, that's gonna take up fluid. The fluid is gonna get pushed through this coil which preheats. And then it's gonna shoot out. It's gonna make a dense fog of death <laughs> for mosquitoes. And if I hear any comments about saving mosquitoes' lives, I'm deleting them because it's ridiculous. I've been looking at videos all day about this stuff and it's ridiculous what people have to say. If you like mosquitoes, sorry, you're not my friend because they, they love eating me. Okay, insect fogger. Instructions to start. Lock, lock igniter trigger, okay, right there. That prevents you from pulling the trigger, okay? And then basically you're gonna place the fogger on a level, uh, non-combustible outdoor surface. So like on, on your kitchen, <laughs> kitchen counter, well, that'd be good. if it's outside and it's not combustible. <laughs> uh, strike match, place under coil. Open fuel valve, one quarter turn clockwise. Where's the fuel valve, guys? Oh. Fuel valve right here, thusly. We're gonna live dangerously, people. It's gonna, well, we're not gonna run the fogger in here, but I'm gonna at least get the gas thing. Okay, so these things are just a regular standard uh, tall cans. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna just drive. Jeez, that feels quality. Do you, see, do you see what's going on here? Yeah. Do you see what's, what's going on here? Let's see. Am I doing something wrong here, people? It's just the whole gas system kind of wiggles. Ooh. Okay, there it goes. I think I got purchase. I got purchase. Did I? Yes, I got it. Ooh, she's gassing already. Woo! <laughs> it whistled. That was kind of weird. Okay, on a flat level surface, like... You know, like a level surface, like just like this counter, where you can hang it over the edge so it <laughs> falls down. So if you, if you lay it on a flat level surface, it doesn't, it's not quite big enough to hit the ground. So 
Um, I don't know if you want to get a smaller than 14 ounce, but if you get the wide kind, the wide kind, you know what? I almost think we should show the people with the Coleman style because I bet they would fit better. They might. There's one on. Pause side. that video, camera crew. Okay. Scissors. Okay, we're gonna cut this. This is the other style that you guys will see, you know, at your local Walmarts or whatever. We'll link to it if you're buying it on Amazon. I, I don't even know how they deliver this stuff because I'm pretty sure it's a hazmat. But maybe in this quantity they've got an exemption. Okay, so same size valve. Um, is that a valve? Yeah, I guess that is. Technically, I'm gonna close. Woo! I'm gonna close my fuel valve. I'm gonna take this thing back off because I just think this tank is kind of long. Mmm, smells like gas. Okay, so we'll cap this off. We'll put it in a safe spot here in a little bit. But I just want you guys to see that this thing will fit. And actually, it fits better. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Fits better. Look at that. Why the heck don't these manufacturers think of these things? Don't worry. Just because it sounds like it's falling apart, it's not. Oh, yeah. It fits flat now. That's so much better, guys. Okay, well, that took us five seconds to break the rules. <laughs> All right, so let's light it. This is what it would look like if it was new. <laughs> this is what it would look like if it's the one you have in your kitchen drawer. Maybe I should move the combustibles over here. Oh, yeah, to the other side. To the other side of our kitchen that's outside. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put this here. We're gonna gas it up. You guys ready? Woo! Look at that, guys. Show them the flame. Man, that's cool. It's like a flamethrower. Now, just to be 100% clear, there's some pretty good heat coming off there, and I'm pretty sure that this little this little thing is not gonna stop the open flame from burning you. So you may no. wanna be careful about that. Yeah. Second thought, um, yeah, don't touch that thing. The third thought is, what the heck, seriously? Okay, I unlocked the thing, so I'm spraying it, nothing's coming out because there is no product. You say, Brian, where do you get your product? Well, I got my product at the store where I bought it. But we'll link to it on Amazon, okay? By the way, we are not gonna actually put this in. Um, we are not gonna spray this inside because it's not good for you. To, not some, that crazy. to some extent. You're supposed to use a bunch of PPE, okay guys? So you see what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the can to hold it up. God, look at that, look at that, wiggle. Okay, so we're gonna read safety, safety warnings and then we'll get back to you, okay? Welcome to the laboratory. <laughs> Forever gloves, safety glasses. This is this is a, a washable lab coat. Make sure you have clothing on your feet. <laughs> feet. Um, but we're just gonna live dangerously. Now, obviously, this goes without saying. Don't do this in your kitchen. <laughs> what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure you wipe the counter if you do it in your kitchen. Okay. And uh, this is supposed to be undiluted. Dang it. <laughs> Ruined <laughs> it. Counters are in. We'll just have to replace the counters. Great. <laughs> Since last week. Okay, so I'm just going to put the sack down, okay? In okay, case so I have a small splash, and I'm just going to carefully dump this in. Um, so it's not rocket science. It looks like water. It's a little bit thicker, kind of like dish soap. Somewhere between dish soap and water for viscosity. My wife uh, claims that personal protective equipment or PPE should be explained. So if you didn't know what PPE stood for, now you know. Now personal you know. protective equipment, like safety glasses, hard hat, steel toed boots, rubber <laughs> gloves. I don't think steel toed boots are required for this application. Mm, well, no, not for this. They'd be good with your shorts. Okay, so I just wanted to also elaborate on one other detail that she noticed. This is a short can, not a tall can, okay? One short, one's tall. Look, the tall can doesn't work as good, but the box says it works with the tall can. The tall can would still work, but I just think that this one works better. Okay, so now you'll also notice that this is full, okay? So when you go to screw it on, okay? If you have the tall can, it hangs low, like hang low. No, I'm not even gonna finish that. No. Okay, so once this is tight, you're golden, you're ready to go. Lock the safety valve, 
lock the safety switch so you can't accidentally pull the trigger while you're starting it. I guess that's a big deal. And we're going outside. We're going to see how this works. We're not going to probably treat the whole yard. Um, again, you'll want to wear something over your feet. <laughs> Where are you going? We're going out here. Okay. We're going out the front. It's going to be good. You can pause it if you want. Okay. Okay. It's kind of windy. It is. Are you started? Yeah. Okay, guys. Come on. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to tell if it's lit. There, it's on. You know how I can tell? It's because you're burning your hand? From the extreme heat. Yeah, baby. Okay, so you can stay right there. Okay. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. The trigger is off right now. The trigger's on now. Ooh, you hear it? How long do you feel it like preheat? You want to go up wind, please? Uh, so you can also fun. see on the ground. Show them on the ground. Oh, yeah. You see the shadow? That's how you can see there's heat coming off of it. Okay, so I'm pulling the trigger, guys. It's going to be awesome. Oh yeah! Look at that. You gotta wait for a while. So now death will be full. Anybody beyond this? <laughs> that works pretty awesome. That's sweet. I'm gonna go do this tree. You're supposed to not do this in high wind, but um, I got better things to do with my life. The recommendation. The recommendation is less than five miles Woo! an hour, and you want to do it like at dusk when they're at starting dusk. to come out. So look at this guys, you want to get it in there, you want to be downwind of it, this is kind of a turbulent spot here. Jeez, look at it, it's like burning. You see that, hon? Yeah. It's like burns and stuff. Ooh, yeah, look at that, fancy. Woo, yeah, this actually looks like it's going to work, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Kind of nutty. Kind of nutty. All right. Come on over. <laughs> Spraying my neighbor's bush. <laughs> Treat our neighbor's yard. Whoa. What? Why are you throwing axes in here? Holy crap. Oh, That's yeah. one way to get rid of the mosquitoes. Don't do that thing. You're... Okay, bushes. Yeah, right? it's a little... I don't know. Kind of awkward. Oh, get out of here! This stuff is probably not going to be super effective today. Yeah. Hey, maybe don't, like, do the garden. Are you kidding me? This is the perfect spot to do it, Megan. There's so many skeeters living down here. There's like hundreds of them. This thing likes to catch this stuff on fire. It's kind of crazy. See that? <coughs> that cannot be normal. So as you can tell, the wind is shifting a little bit, guys. I just, I, I'm surprised how much of a flamethrower this is. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is a little crazy. So you don't want to like squeeze it a bunch because then it just like, it doesn't heat the stuff and it doesn't turn into gas. Okay. Oh yes, dead animal, get him. Get that son of a gun. Yes. Ooh, 
see, this is perfect. It's just chilling. Just chilling like a villain. So. Dang it, stupid wind. I know. Don't. Huh? Don't do that? No. Why? Why? The edibles? You don't do edibles? No. Oh, I don't, don't want toxic chemicals on my food. No. I just, just don't want mosquitoes in my yard. You don't want mosquitoes? Well, no. let's do over here. The well, yeah. Love this they do. That's true. Definitely do that. This thing kind of has a mind of its own as to when it's like, like, because I'm not really spraying it at all. I might have to do it again, like, if the wind calms down. Yeah, but you're not supposed to treat super duper often, though. Evidently, that's like against the rules or something. Hmm, sure. We're good at following this. This thing, it's kind of fun to use. I mean, especially when it turns into flamethrower. Oh, yeah. Get those skeeters. Get out of my life, skeeters. Jeez. Ooh, another flamethrower eruption. So as you as you put it in there, it's just like flash evaporates the stuff. I gotta do the bushes. I hope they don't get upset. That's all right. We're moving. Which way is the? Here, let me go hey, up in front of you. Stay out of it. Uh oh no, we're in the vortex of death. <laughs> It didn't work. We're gonna come back and do the rest. Yes. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so the perimeter, see, there's so many like open flames. Watch out. It's a little awkward. Oh, giant poop. Gross. Gross. That's nasty. Don't step in they it. They don't have a big dog. No. Did somebody like poop in their yard? It's nothing. Okay, well, I don't want to fire this thing back up. So I've got the valve turned all the way down. And it seems like it's probably supposed to be off. But I can't necessarily say that it is off. But it does seem to have stopped. There it went. Yeah. So, but watch this, guys. I just want you to be aware of this. It's gonna keep working for a while because this thing is still really hot. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, guys, that controls insects, and we're not just talking about me. So maybe we'll do this again when it's not windy, and just show you how awesome it would work. Hey, there's flies on that poop. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get get out of here, flies! That poop was flaming. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys, you know where to come for more. Buy one of these if you like it. I mean, it seems pretty high quality, but it does work. And uh, seriously, be careful about the flame throwing. That is a little bit scary. Um, rubber gloves, maybe it'd be better go with like leather gloves. They said face shield, I don't know. It wasn't that hard to stay away from the smoke or the steam or whatever you want to call this. Uh, fog. The fog. fog, fog. I don't think fog is aspirated by flame but I don't know whatever seems to be working like they say um, in terms of distributing the product look how much we used guys we used just like hardly any I had it filled pretty much to the top and I don't know if you guys can tell but it's down to oh, oh, I would yeah. say about there mm -hmm. so I don't know we'll let you know how much we get eaten up by the way if I'm in a room of 100 people 99 don't get bit I do same with my daughter and it's really it's too bad because you know there's nothing worse than coming home from the property you're all excited about how things are going and then she's got like 30 bug bites you feel really bad so that's the rationale behind this i can tolerate bug bites i can protect myself but the kids that can't swat at them and stuff like that you just makes you feel really bad so thanks for watching guys thanks for being a part of this um we'll show you how it works at the land maybe we'll pre-treat the area before we start working on it next time on day seven we got more coming. <laughs> Fuel valve on.
should have got a better clicker, huh? No, it's not the clicker that's the problem. Come on now. There we go. Did I get I got her. Yep. It's on fire. Too much wind. Okay, so I got links to all this stuff, guys. So you gotta let it warm up for a minute. The whole idea is protect your eyes, protect your hands, try not to get a bunch of fog in your body. There. Once it starts, once it's whoop, whoo, it's getting excited now. <laughs> Oh, I got locked off. Now it's on. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we're just going to let it warm up a little bit longer. I might even turn up the valve. You can kind of hear the whistle. Okay, so it's working now. So now you give it a squeeze. There you go. So you can see it's working a lot better now. About one squeeze every two to three seconds. Some people like to do a respirator. There's nothing in the instructions about a respirator, just face, face protection. That is so cool. Yeah, it really like, like settles. And it said you want to make sure you get in all of your foliage and stuff where the mosquitoes and the flies kind of hang out. But just try to stay out of the wind as it carries it. Like if there's I know. a plume of it coming. If you get a flame, just wait a second, let it calm down. Is this thing will turn into a flamethrower. Hey, I'm gonna do this tree if you wanna go on the other side so you're both upwind. I think this has gotta be one of the coolest tools I bought. In <laughs> I mean, it's, I think it's just cool. It's fun to do, but it's also dangerous, which. And it's killing mosquitoes, we hope. I mean, I just can't imagine the backpack one. That'd be so awesome. Well, the land will require more than like wandering around probably. Okay, so the wind is carrying it a little bit. Now, there was another thought about perimeters. Where'd you go? There. Still chilling over here. That's working pretty good. I'm just gonna do the lot line. It takes about three or five minutes to settle. Three to five minutes. Is that what I said? Um. So I warned the neighbors and the yeah. kids that were out. I'm gonna cross your path so I'm not in the. Okay. There's the turd. There's no bugs on the turd. It's true. That's probably a pretty good sign. <laughs> it just said you want, you don't want your kids to be out playing until it settles because you want it to settle you into the settle. grass yeah. and in the leaves and stuff. Okay, I'm getting in the... <coughs> I am too. Tree spots. Sorry. Go this way for a second. I gotta work with I know, guys. it's okay. If someone isn't filming you doing this, it'll probably be easier. So this area always gets shade. So I'm just kind of letting it go down in there. But it's hard to get away from the smoke because we're between the two buildings.
So I'm just gonna go around the other side. Hey, your cameo's here. Hey, your cameo is here. My cameo as Yes. Yes. Ooh, flying creatures are in there. Is it staying more or less localized? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think it's going away. You can come down here. <laughs> Watch the ridiculousness. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It works a lot better when it's not super windy. It was it's really safe to be like next to these. Oh, I'm just trying to stay out of the like main <laughs> area. It's only really dangerous if you're a mosquito. Oh, good. <laughs> we'll see if it works. I swear I just saw a mosquito like crashing down. <laughs> I just... Like dive bombing <laughs> off of the. Isn't that crazy? Whoa! <laughs> Here, we're going up the hill a little bit because it's going this way. A, a little weird tomorrow. <laughs> I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to do this pretty quick. Just remember that if your like, eyes uh, start twitching a little bit. <laughs> That's normal. It's all part of the show. Okay. Now death shall befall all mosquitoes. <laughs> In our yard, we hope. All right, well, the moral of the story is this thing looks very harmless until you get it. Look, we used quite a bit more. Did we? We used oh, about that much. Yeah, well, not much more than used earlier, though. No, we didn't use hardly any the first time because the wind was just carrying it away. Yeah. So we'll give it about 10 minutes and it should be uh, settled. Yep. So and if it was dead calm, it would work even easier. Because it's fairly easy to control. Uh, the big thing is you just got to make sure people know that it's happening. Because you don't want to go out there and just do it without warning anybody. So that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description below. You can get all this stuff for yourself.